Hi. My name is Shauna. Um, Shauna Marie, aka Mama Camp. How hectic has the last six months been? The last six months have been a blessing and um, I can't even say a curse because it has not in no way been a curse, but it's been extremely hectic because I, I've never been to this level of success and um, it was kind of overwhelming, but I'm adjusting, adjusting very well. When k Camp was trying to pursue rap, was it something you supported? Um, not from day one, maybe day two. But not from day one. Um, K Camp, uh, just like any mother, K Camp had a lot of, you know, or just like any kid, I should say, K Camp had a lot of different ventures. His first love was basketball. He was a ball player. He's been playing since he was five years old. And um, he wanted to be an NBA star. And then, you know, just like anybody else, he came in, he wanted to be, he wanted to come up with a clothing line. And then he had this rap thing. He had been rapping since he was like 13, 14 years old. Um, but when, I took him serious is when he came in my room one day and he was like, Mom, you need to start managing me. They like my music. And um, I was like, boy, close my door. Just close my door and go back downstairs. But um, anyway, after maybe a couple of months later, Nitty, uh, Nitty with Playmaker Music started contacting him and a couple of other people. And they were really wanting to push his song all night. So after that, um, that's when I got on board. That's that's when I, I got on. He had, you know, a manager that was his age. And um, I just felt that just my sales background and my mouthpiece would help him, you know, do a lot of, you know, just take him in a different direction. My all-time favorite K-Camp song would have to be In Due Time. And that's um, the one he actually, you know, talks about me quitting my job to help him chase his dream. So it's, you know, a personal tribute to me. So that, um, that's my tearjerker. That's the one that, you know, that, um, that would be my personal favorite. But the one I get turned up to is Cut Her Off. That's, that's my song. <laughs> that is my jam, my all-time jam. So I know I tripped out a lot when he was younger coming up. And um, he had a song called Cocky Bitch. And I totally lost my wig. And, um, but there's a difference between your 16-year-old and your 23-year-old singing about, you know, B-I-T-C-H's. So, um, I love Cut Her Off. So. <laughs> All right. When did you notice a change in your son's life about his career? When did I notice a change? Um, well, elaborate on what you mean, change. Like, when did you feel like he was... Even though he came to you at 17 and told you, like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to become this, this rapper. Like, when did you, like, did, was it that moment where you said, all right, let's jump on board, let's do this? Or what did it take a few? No, it took, actually, it took, um, it took him doing a couple of shows and going to South Georgia, doing some shows. Colleges were requesting him. And he all, he actually signed with, with Playmaker Music Nitty Beats for a, like a one-year promotional type deal. And that's when I realized, like, people are really listening and people are really loving this song all night. And um, that's when I felt that, you know, when I found out that he was doing shows for a bottle of vodka at, at 17 years old, I had my concerns. So this is where I took all my sales. I, I've been, I was in the mortgage industry forever. So I took all of my sales abilities and, and, and took, you know, my business background and and I just pretty much invested in my son and just got on board and literally started helping him chase his dreams. I stayed on Facebook trying to find connects. I stayed on, um, you know, all different social media, so, social outlets. I went to networking events. I called everybody that I knew that was in the industry trying to, you know, let them hear or trying to trying to get him plugged so we could one day make it. And I, I turned that into a full-time job because I knew how passionate he was. He grinded. You know, he used to grind every day. Go in the, he'd go downstairs and um, stay down there for hours. That's all, my house was a studio. And, we, you know, I got used to the loud music. I didn't even hear it after a while. But he has been consistent since day one. He's been consistent. Um... He hasn't changed. He hasn't changed personality-wise. He's still the family-oriented, big-hearted, crazy, Jonan dude that he's always been. And um, I'm extremely proud of him. Mm -hmm. um, 
For mothers who are watching this, what is a message you would like to pass to them? Oh, if I had to say anything to the mothers, if your child has a dream, um, take it serious. If you see any type of potential in your child and he's consistent with it and he eats, sleeps, breathes it, get behind him and do whatever you can to push him because, I mean, you, you never know. You, you just, you never know um, what could come out of it. And there, people don't chase dreams anymore. And we as parents, you know, um, we, we kind of brush it off. And originally I did. I brushed it off because he had so many different talents. But when you find the one that he stays up all night for, that's the one that you need to get behind and push him. Even when he don't realize his potential, you need to get behind him and push him. You have a reality show. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us your role and your situation in the show? Um, yeah, I am... I am actually a um, cast member of an upcoming reality show. I'm not able to mention the name of it, but um, I'm very, very excited about it. I am my son's momager, um, booking momager. I handle his books, I hear his bookings, handle his contracts, his hotels, his flights, um, handle his money, handle um, every, you know, I'm his mouthpiece when it comes to certain things. Um, but uh, the reality show is based on just my life as having a celebrity son. And, um, and outside of that, I, am, I also have my own life. And that is, I do a lot of work with homeless people. Um, humanitarian, philanthropist. Um, I, I, I actually bring homeless people home. I take them to hotels. Um, you know, so it, it, the reality show is going to show me uh, or show the world what it is, you know, um, to have a life and a life in the industry. So it's a mixture of both and I'm so excited about it. So.